Warm greetings here, Romilo, in Holland, your kuya and uncle. Today, for the first time, I'm cooking on an early morning for shooting. There's a gathering, again, a gathering, and I thought of bringing something we from the homeland can be proud of. It's pastry this time, it's not oolong, it's brazo de Mercedes. It's uh, quite similar to the brazo de reina they have in Spain. But this is a truly and purely Filipino. It's easy. I think we can begin with the uh, ingredients. Very, very basic ingredients. Easy to uh, source out anywhere. Of course, for this recipe, we need uh, eggs. And just this, eggs and uh, condensed milk. Most recipes call for eight to nine eggs, so we'll do that. We also need one cup of sugar, or that's uh, roughly 250 grams, and confectioner's sugar. Let me just clarify, this is for the filling. This is for the filling. And this is for the meringue, the, the egg white later and since we are baking we need special instruments we it's we you also can do this manually but uh, it will hurt your muscles I, I tell you so we need a mixer or batidora and a baking tray and baking paper we have two types here this is the uh, usual uh, baking paper if you need this, you need to apply oil or wax or butter onto the surface to keep the uh, meringue from, uh, uh, from, what's the word, <laughs> from sticking. But there's an alternative, thanks to technology, this is a uh, special baking uh, paper. It's grease already, so you, no you need not apply the uh, the butter and it's got uh, what's this pimple dots to minimizing the contact with the meringue. So this is non adhesive uh, paper. I recommend using this. And another instrument I just saw this or found this in Holland. It's for separating the uh, the egg yolk from the egg white. It's very uh, functional. You will see how it's used later. Let's start. I'm rushing really. I'm yet to go to the garden after this. Let's start. Let's begin separating the egg yolks from the egg white. This is an interesting process. It's good to involve the kids if you have children out there. We'll use this instrument now. When working on this procedure, it's uh, recommended, highly recommended even, to use uh, squeaky clean uh, instruments because contamination uh, uh, will cause failure in the creation or in the creation of the meringue. Okay, it's not snug. Functional, huh? <laughs> What's the best way? There. Be extra careful not to mix the yolk with the white. Any amount of yolk in the egg white will cause failure. I want to even traces of fat in the egg white will not allow the creation of meringue. That's why your wares have to be squeaky clean. 
If you're, uh, by the way, uh, to our watchers in the Philippines, if you're interested in having this one, just tell me, ask me. We can meet up in April or somewhere, and I can hand this over to you or buy you something like this. We've separated the egg white from the egg yolk. We'll work on the meringue now, and we'll have to set this aside for now. So, I also mention—I also forgot to mention that we need cream of tartar, one tea, tea, teaspoon of this. I can even find my teaspoon. <laughs> if you don't have this, you can use—you uh, can replace this with vinegar. The purpose of this is just to stabilize the the meringue later on. I hope it's still good. I haven't been using it for quite a while. One teaspoon. Approximately, I can find the measuring spoon. And <clears throat> I'm very sensitive to noise, so I also need some ear protection. I hurt my ear 15 years ago in one of our Christmas parties in the Philippines when I was still working at Mayantel and it damaged my ear. Since then I, was, I became very sensitive to noise. Trumpet, sopranos, high sounds, I have difficulty uh, bearing. And I also have a plastic uh, mixer, but I prefer this because plastic is uh, easy to get contaminated. As I said earlier, small traces of oil will uh, fail your meringue. So we'll start. Let's just mix this until uh, soft, soft peaks uh, form. This is a sign that it's already uh, ready. Invert it and it does not drop down. And now we can gradually add the sugar and beat it for roughly 10 more minutes. It's been turning for approximately 10 minutes now and we can uh, spread it. Okay. Now, it's time to spread the meringue mixture to onto this uh, baking tray. I've used the uh, non-adhesive uh, uh, baking paper there are two sides, the smooth and the pimpled side. Use the pimpled side on top. I also have here a spatula.
let's decorate it not too deep just to make some patterns make it uh, a bit more or it looks good really uh, it will look good once it's cooked it's baked just markings line markings you can use any utensil in making this again line markings not burrows okay. let's work with the uh, filling now the custard filling oh. Just the egg yolks for the egg yolks and condensed milk and some uh, of this. This is a method which I found out for cooking the filling without the risk of burning it. Alabanyo Maria, not in the oven, but just in a bath of boiling water. It will never burn, no matter how high the fire is. Just leave it like that. We'll now put this into the oven. It's been preheated to 150. It's a convection oven, so it can be lower than what's usually required. Until it browns. And while the uh, meringue is being baked, we'll cook the filling. It's a nice color. Of course, and look at the combination, the yellow and the orange here, and the uh, red-orange uh, pan. Glorious to the eyes. Yes, as I've told you, learning should also be entertaining. That's what, that's what I learned in YouTubing. It should be pleasing as well, visually pleasing. There's more here. Let's get all the goodness. By the way, this program alternates with the uh, gardening uh, series and I'm almost breathless here because I'm thinking about the things to be done at the garden. We will be dividing dahlias, we'll be uh, transplanting more of the uh, sweet peas and we will be, what else? Uh, controlling the a, a feeds here indoors lots of things to do and at the same time I what else Sunday also lots of things to do in the uh, chairs and Monday that would be the uh, the uh, busiest because it's our choirs concert in the evening and final rehearsal in the afternoon uh, you might not believe that your kuya here and uncle, despite his age, is really very, very busy. I have a full-time job and man MWF, I go to the gym. I don't know heavy stuff, but just for uh, fitness or health. Tuesdays, Tuesday evenings, uh, we have choir rehearsals. And Thursdays, that used to be my free evening, which could have been dedicated to YouTubing, but I'm attending swimming lessons. <laughs> you might not believe that, but it, despite being born next to the sea, I come from Anda in Pangasinan. It's part of the Hundred Islands. I don't swim. Since uh, 
uh, visiting the Philippines requires visits to Coron, Palawan, etc. And to enjoy those places, you need to be able to explore underwater. So this poor old man is now learning to swim. See, even I'm even while I'm talking, I can afford to leave the uh, the uh, mixture here from being burned thanks to this Banyo Maria uh, method. I don't know if we can call this Banyo Maria uh, Ba Maria or Banyo Maria is usually uh, referred to. I think that's reverse. <laughs> or refers to uh, baking in uh, water. I mean, baking in, with water. I don't know if this can be called Banyo Maria or Banyo Maria. Yeah? Look here, we've reached the desired uh, thickness of the uh, custard filling. We can turn it off. I think it's, it's ready, let's check. How lovely it is, look at that. Now comes the critical uh, procedure. We will be inverting this on this sheet of paper. Just lay it like this. We apply this. Uh, we will apply this uh, confectioner's sugar on top of the meringue. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that. Now we invert it. Do you see that? Exciting, eh? Let's apply the feeling. It just collapsed. Look, that's not brasso, that's flattened. <laughs> but it tastes good, yeah. It tastes good. I'm not going to replace this. I'll be bringing this like this. Collapse. 
brazo de Mercedes. Not my best, but that's the procedure in making it. Just be more careful in inverting. And what went wrong? I think we undercooked the meringue, and the uh, I was just rushing. I'm in a hurry to go to the garden. But this is still good. I, it's a, it's it's surely a conversational. Oh, it surely is a conversation piece. Brazo de Mercedes, caída. Never rush when you're cooking. True. Flattened brazo de Mercedes. It doesn't look good, but it tastes heavenly. Till next time, we'll do better. <laughs> I think it's time to go to the garden now.